Hello beautiful people, I am Michelle from Back to Source. Welcome back to my channel. And I want to ask a question. Is this Corona virus such a negative thing? Because in my perspective, I'm seeing some beautiful things coming out of this. <laughs> First of all, people are being required to be conscious of their immunity system. And our immunity system is bonded with our heart to get strong physically, mentally, mindsetedly. It's not something you take over the counter. You're not going to take now a, a pill, a drug, and get healthy. Mm. No, not necessarily. If you really want to get healthy, if you really want to strengthen your immunity system, put some attention to your heart because it's responsible for that. The way to do this is to have some proportion. Proportion to how we allow outside information go inside of us. How much are we getting stressful right now? How much are we getting fearful right now? Why are we getting stressful and fearful? If you're getting stressful and fearful, ask yourself why. In which way were you not taking care of yourself during out the year? That now when shit is coming down to it, you're suddenly fearful. I'm not fearful. Why not? Because I take care of myself during out the year. I have my morning exercise. I have my morning shake. And it's not a spiritual or hippie thing. Or a hippie thing. It's a well-being. It's being reaching the age of 50 and wanting to climb the Himalaya if I want. Take care of yourself. What do you put in your body? This started from a bat or a person, or whatever. Take care of this beautiful vehicle, this beautiful baby. Second beautiful thing I see that's happening with this coronavirus. People are isolating themselves a bit. A bit, they're being required to, and I'm not talking about the people that are going to the big massive places, but those that stay home. Having some alone time not being capable to go to work and sticking your tushy in the house for two weeks that's not such a negative thing because suddenly you have time free time for yourself you could read a book you always wanted to and you didn't get to it you could work on a special uh, skill that you wanted to and you didn't get into it you are forced to sit yourself down now between your four walls do a checkup on what's going in between you and yourself and start to develop a hobby you always wanted to and you never find, found the time to do it. So that's the second thing that, in my perspective, it's quite okay to happen. I'm control. I encourage getting isolated every now and then. Really healthy. Just to check out the, align the alignments that's happening and, you know, developing your personal skills. <laughs> a third beautiful thing that is happening thanks to this coronavirus is all of this discussion of humanity where are we going to and the awareness of the state of the state of being of the planet it is something that is bringing even more into consideration and more into discussion these days because this is one big wake-up call for mama nature doing her thing because because we do not behave appropriate neither to ourselves necessarily and neither to each other so it's like she just gave a time out for everyone to t get our shit together i have this beautiful memory i was like 15 i think in Israel and there was the same time something with the weather with the atmosphere and the Sun was disappearing disappearing in the middle of the sky because there was like a fog of crap in the air and I was looking at the Sun while she's he's disappearing with trying to fog behind the fog and I'm like dear Sun why don't you just send out this big way of light burn us all and get done with it 
you know? I'm willing to give myself. And the son answered me this. Patience, my dear. It's about patience. There is a way. It's not, it's not about just getting something done. It's about learning. Learning through the outcome. Learning through the process. There is a way, there is a path that each and every one is being required to go through with themselves and with the reality that is reflected to us back, which is a direct reflection of our inner state, you know? This is like, we're, ha we're having a dual dance with reality. And it's not just about doing a dance, it's about understanding the moves. It's about understanding the moves. It's about understanding the inner state of being that, would, that caused this thing to reflect back on us. Four, fourth beautiful thing that's happening, which is connected to the one before, less consuming besides food and paper toilet. <laughs> Guys, if you're stuck without paper toilet, you just, you know, use a water bottle. But anyway, less consuming, less shopping, shopping centers. People, you have little kids working behind those clothes, so if you consume them less, you know, less labor. Less flights. What do you think? The air, the airplanes go on friendly fuel. We're not there yet, although we could be there. Hello, beautiful wake up call. Let's move to new energy, solar energy, air energy, water energy. So many ways to develop energy, as in the electricity way I'm speaking now. The motor, motorable way, not of our body energy way. So many friendly things to the environment that we could transform to. Maybe our government will stop thinking what goes in their pocket and start taking out of their pocket everything we put in there in the first place and start investing in the things that will benefit us as humanity and humankind. So in my eyes, this coronavirus not such a bad thing and it's natural my condone condolence con for people who lost their lives I'm gonna go sooner or later until then let's wake up and be consciously awake to the way we treat ourselves to the way we treat our environment and what things we choose to bring inside ourselves from that environment, don't take everything that is being laid out to you. Much love. I am Michelle. From back to source. <laughs> back to source, back to source. Mentoring, back to source. Fly, back to source. Heal in Israel and Hebrew. I had only, it was only me back to source. Now in America, in English, so much back to source, which I love, but. Like how what how will how will I Google find me if anywho much love I'll give us a I'll give you one drill two three drills first of all heart thymus gland immune system tap on that baby you want to give a little boost tap on that baby I'm gonna give you now a few tapping points. I do this with myself almost every morning. I have all kinds of exercises. Okay, so this is the thymus, immunity gland. I just took us into a drill. Here is something they call K27. It's the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for the water, for the detoxifying, for the movement of the fluids in the body. You can tap them. Going down to the sides. Spleen. Spleen has to do with stress. Just Google exercises for cleaning spleen. Spleen is connected with stress. You want to clean out stress, 
support the mental condition through the body. Tap the spleen and you have all kinds of exercises. Liver, anger. Do you have any anger at, under the, at the edge of the, of the ribs? <laughs> On top of them. Yeah, you, do you have any anger issues? Support with the liver. Tap a bit down to the pubic area. All of this is like one big battery box of energy. I'm a bit on the side. Go a bit to the lower back. Go a bit up here to the glands. Oh, so nice. Nice points to tap. One more nice, two more nice exercises. One more nice exercise would be we'll leave it well okay so you take your right leg up this i saw a beautiful woman named donna eden she's so sweet everything she does she does with a smile and you know why she does this with a smile because the body doesn't ask you are you really happy now or are you not really happy now and this is not a discussion about pretending to be happy when you're not happy. This is between you and yourself when you do your own exercises. When you smile, the body interprets it as if you're happy and starts to release all these healthy, happy, healthy hormones. Serotonin. Okay, so right leg up, right hand on this baby. This is where energy goes in. This is like you plug in. You want to plug in energy, it goes in through here energy in our body starts from here also here two main plugs <laughs> for energy I just lock that baby on it I take my left hand put it on my ankle ankle is like you know the gateway for all this energy to go up you have here some pressure points just hold it take deep three deep breaths I'll do two, but you should do either three, either nine, either 36. And one last beautiful exercise, if your head is starting to overwhelm you, just, just throw it away. You take it, throw it away. It looks like bull to you, but it's not. You have so much nerves in your face. And when you do that, you literally Give them like a gentle, calm, soothing, and yes, metaphorically, which replies reality. You just take them and you throw it away. You take all your stress, issue, problem, throw it away. Much love. And think about it, if you may. I'm Michelle. Back to source. See you later, alligators.